good. Well, that's half of you. Um, <laughs> hey, I, it's lovely to be here. Um, incidentally, um, if you get a chance uh, when the show's finished, th there's a really cool piece of graffiti in the toilets. Um, on the back of one of the toilet, no, seriously, on the back of one of the toilet doors, uh, somebody's written in like thick marker pen. Um, they've written, "Dare to think for yourself." <laughs> um, uh, but underneath that, somebody's just sort of scratched an in biro. Okay. <laughs> That's a really high standard of graffiti. That's really witty. You'd never get something like that clever on an Australian toilet door. So in Australia, at the very most, somebody would write, fuck you! <laughs> you know, and then somebody would just write underneath that, no, fuck you! <laughs> and um, then somebody would just draw, like, an ejaculating penis over the whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> By someone, I mean I would. <laughs> really. Um, so, um, I have these things that I like to do. I get really bored when I'm on the train. And um, if you like, want to do this, you can totally have it. It's just a bit of fun next time you're bored. Uh, so, if you're on the train and the person across from you is reading a book, why not tell them that you wrote it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Just, just go over really confidently and go, Hi, I'm Ruth Rendell. Hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> wander off like a novelist. <laughs> and if you're feeling really confident, give them a book signing. <laughs> I mean, you do have to choose the book carefully, though. You know, it's, uh, it's not going to work on the Bible. <laughs> Thanks for your support. God! <laughs> um, oh, another thing I quite like doing, uh, sometimes I babysit for my neighbours. Um, like, they've got a kid. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm currently uh, babysitting for a childless couple. <laughs> Easy money! Uh, no, they have a child. Um, and, you know, like, uh, children are quite obsessed with how old you are. You know, it's a real fixation with little kids, yeah? Um, so next time you're with somebody's kids and they go, how old are you? Just go, I'm five. <laughs> Why the hell are you so small? <laughs> <laughs> and if they ask you how you got so big, just go, smoking! <laughs> so, um... <laughs> oh! That's my name. Um, I, uh, I went up to Edinburgh in the, in the summer. That was, uh, that was cool. It was kind of weird, though. Um, I'd never heard of um, midges. Uh, no, uh, we, we, don't, we don't have them uh, in Australia. Um, uh, but with, with my friend's really thick Scottish accent, um, I, thought that, I thought that he said midgets. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we, we had this conversation. We, we, were, we were standing outside, and I, I can't do the Scottish accent, but we were standing outside and my friend said, look, it's, um, it's six o'clock, so I think we should go inside. <laughs> yeah, I, I said, really, why is that? And he said, well, at six o'clock the midgets come out. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I was excited. <laughs> Like, I was imagining them, like, being shot out of cannons. <laughs> you know, doing cartwheels. Yeah, and I said to him, well, what do they do? And he said, oh, they're nasty little bastards. <laughs> he said, they'll bite you. <laughs> uh, I said, well, what do you... What do you do when they bite you? And he said, oh, you just slap the fuckers away. <laughs> He said I had a dozen of them in bed with me last night. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I've also I've been thinking about doing um, an adult education course. That's another thing, because I, I'm a total winner. Um, and, uh, well, there's one, I saw it advertised on television, and it was one of those ads where the graduates from the course were talking about the course in the commercial. And seriously, um, one of the graduates actually said, you know, the way I felt when I completed my creative writing course was just... indescribable. <laughs> I 
I don't think she's done a very good course. I think they have to screen these people more carefully. You know, now I finished my astrology degree, who knows what my future holds? Uh, I, am, I was on Oxford Street um, the other day and I just, I saw these two people and they were running really fast. And I just, I had this urge to run with them. <laughs> and just start screaming, it's happening! <laughs> I don't know what, I just, I, I constantly had this urge to carry on like a total knob. And you, know, and you know, when you sort of go, don't do that, they're stupid. Like, I always say this thing, whenever I'm on a train and I see somebody running for the train, you know like when somebody's really going for it, like, Aah! and then the door closes in their face, <laughs> I always want to give them the finger. <laughs> I don't even know why. But, like, just as the train pulls away, I always just want to go... <laughs> Did that actually get one round of applause? <laughs> so that's brilliant. You should follow that impulse. No, no but it's, that's the thing, like, you know, I have these fantasies about carrying on like a complete prick, but I get real, like, I totally panic when somebody is rude to me. Like, particularly when I don't know what I've done to piss them off. You know, this, this happened to me recently. I was, in, um, where was I? I was in the post office, right? And I just said to this guy in front of me, we're in the queue, and I said to this guy in front of me, I went, sorry, excuse me, um, what's the date today? And the guy turned around and went... <sighs> 25th of November, 2009? <laughs> So this is what I like to do. If someone does that to you, and again, you're like, you can just have this, right? Just go, 2009! <laughs> but that's impossible! <laughs> Who is your emperor? If you do it, you do have to perform it at that level. <laughs> Otherwise, you will look like a total dick. <laughs> he was he was a, such a ball sack, you know, and he had this he had this tattoo. And I really like tattoos, generally speaking, but he had this tattoo, and I've never I've never quite understood the point of this particular tattoo. He had um, an American Indian brave on his shoulder. Do you know you know the the, the type yeah. that I yeah right? I mean I mean I just never got that. I mean, do you think American Indians do the same thing? with us. <laughs> you know, just imagine two American Indians having a chat. Hey, little bear, who's that on your shoulder? In this? Well, that's Terence. <laughs> He's a van driver from Croydon. <laughs> and I think you probably uh, noticed by now I, I have red hair. That's, um... That's, it's weird having red hair in this country, because I would say that there is a slight amount of hostility towards redheads <laughs> in this. Does someone just go, Ugh! I can hear you. It's really, it's really weird. I don't, know, I don't know quite where you guys get this aggression from. But like, I, went to the, I was at this wedding uh, a couple of weekends ago, and I was talking to this guy who was just a, he was a total bell end, right? And he was, he was unbelievable. You know, he gets stuck with a dick at a party, you're like, fucking kill me. Anyway, and he was really drunk. And he said, uh, at this point in the conversation, he just went, I should, uh, I should probably tell you this. Um, I have a bit of a thing about redheads. <laughs> and the way he said it, was the tone I imagine you would use if you were confessing to only being able to climax by being shat on. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I'm a fetish. <laughs> that's, really, it was, um, that's what's kind of weird is that generally speaking with guys, they have one of two opinions to redheads. They're either like, ooh, ooh, yeah. <laughs> They're way at the other end of the spectrum, like bleh, bleh, ginger minga, bleh, bleh. and I don't know why, but guys who are generally into redheads are often believe in dragons. <laughs> Tell you what I do hate though. 
I hate it when I accidentally make eye contact with somebody whilst I'm eating a banana. <laughs> Such a bad moment, isn't it? It's just as you get the banana into your mouth, <laughs> you make eye contact with some dude in a trench coat. <laughs> it's, terrible. It's, it's terrible because you freeze immediately, don't you? You're like, oh. Your head, you're thinking, what the fuck do I do? Just finish the banana as quickly as you can. <laughs> so you really go for it. <laughs> yeah, it really diffuses the situation. I got, I got to show you this thing. Uh, this is just this stupid thing that uh, happened earlier. Um, now, I, um, I had this joke with my husband. This is really stupid, right? Okay, but just wait one second. I just got to. This is really... <laughs> I really. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I really like you. <laughs> I sometimes do this. <laughs> I know it's really pure. It's really shit. Can you all get a? Can you all see it? I don't, it's disgusting, right? It's like a dream you would have after having like too much Chinese food or something. Yeah, I dreamt I had a penis finger with joints in it. Um, anyway, and the point of the game is that I have to surprise him. Like, I have to catch him unawares doing it when he's not expecting it, right? So, like, when we go shopping, I'll be down the end of the aisle. <laughs> Checking out a tin of beans, just going. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, <laughs> I, I told my husband that I'd meet him outside this theatre this afternoon at five. And so I went up to this guy who I thought was my husband. <laughs> and I tapped him on the shoulder and went, This guy turned around and I just went, oh Jesus. <laughs> I, I'm, I said, I'm so sorry. I thought you were my husband. <laughs> and, and this guy went, wow, he's a lucky guy. <laughs> that was meant to be the grand finale laughter. <laughs> You brought this on yourself. I'm staying. <laughs> um, I haven't done my impression. I only do one impression in my set. Would you like to see it? Yes! That's fortunate. <laughs> it would be so aggressive if every single one of you went, No! <laughs> Go home. Uh, okay, this is my impression uh, of Nicole Kidman. Um, and obviously, well, I mean, the fact that I've had to tell you who the impression is of... <laughs> It's not the greatest impression you're ever going to see. Uh, it's just a bit stupid, really. Uh, so, I mean, don't get... This is me now. I'm not... I'm not don't go, Sarah, Sarah, that's exactly like you. Uh, but, OK, it's just stupid. OK, here we go. Right. This is, no, this is me again. Uh, <laughs> shut up. All right. This is uh, Nicole Kidman. Here we go. Thank you very much. You've been awesome. Good night. <laughs>